Jesus was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. This very brief description of Jesus' 40-day sojourn in the desert, immediately following his baptism, comes from Mark's Gospel and it is the most concise description we get in all of Scripture. It is also the basis of the Church's practice dating back centuries of a 40-day season of Lent leading up to Holy Week and Easter. It is meant to be a 40-day sojourn marked by prayer and fasting and acts of charity. And don't we so often find ourselves in the same position in which Jesus found himself? It's all happening at once. We're out in the desert, we're fasting, we're surrounded by the wild beasts, it feels like Satan is tempting us, whispering empty promises in our ears, trying to turn us just one degree off the right path. And yet the angels are also waiting on us. And there's such good news in the midst of all this. The same thing that brought Jesus ultimate victory can do the same for us. It was one very simple feature. He saw it through to the end. He allowed the Spirit to drive him out into the wilderness, and he saw through his 40 days of fasting, of prayer, of something completely different from his normal everyday life, all the way through to the end. Satan never gave up on trying to turn him off course, but the angels were right there waiting on him as well. And the same thing will happen to us. Whatever commitments we make to a lengthy period of fasting, of prayer, of doing a deep dive seeking spiritual renewal, if we see it through to the end, as improbable as it might seem, all of Satan's tricks, all of the attempts to turn us just slightly off course, often seeming with very good intentions, won't work. God's holy angels are there, invisible as they may be, waiting on us, encouraging us, protecting us, and helping us stay on the path that leads to everlasting life and glory, that leads to the goal of our heart's truest desires. I encourage you during this 40-day season of Lent to trust this, to see it through to the end, and to enjoy the glorious outcome of your patience.